I need them to see the Adidas. So all the complainers won't complain I'm not wearing Adidas as I'm reviewing Yeezys. What's up my Shuggies? Ashley here. And in today's video, I want to make sure you know that I'm wearing Adidas while I am reviewing my Yeezys. So if you are interested in seeing a Yeezys unboxing for a giant dinosaur foot man named my husband, <laughs> then just keep watching. Wow, first of all, let's talk about the size of this box. Woo, babe, this is like two times as big as my box. Look, it takes up the whole screen. That's crazy. Well, these are Yeezy Boost 350, and they are also in a size 14 and a half. How big do they go? How big do the sizes go? I think up to 17. I don't know who's got a 17, but this is a 14 and a half Yeezy Boost 350, and we're gonna review them. I don't know what color this is. We're about to find out together. So every day, there's just a new shipment of Yeezys, all for Jack. None for me, all for Jack. Okay, so these are the black non-reflective. Okay, but I like these because I saw a comparison on these. These are different from the Cinder, and I know one of the differences is in the back here, it has this nice red stitching as well as the reflective shoelaces, hence the name non-reflective, but that's another story. But they don't have any reflective component on the side. This is just a completely mesh. Can you hit me with the zoom so I can show them? Just a mesh panel. Yeah, that's good. Thanks, Plenty. Just a mesh panel on the side. I would say those are the biggest three differences between these and the cinder. I believe also the cinder is different because of the side, is it not? Does it not have a beige? A beige gum bottom. A beige gum bottom. Why is it called a gum bottom? I don't know. That's what they call it. Well, it's a gum bottom, and this is an all black gum bottom. As you can see on the bottom, it's completely black with just the white. Um, sole popping through there. Very nice, simple, clean shoe. I like the fact that the lace is a reflective. I think that's unique. These are verified from StockX where a lot of his shoes do come from. StockX, like I mentioned before, is a very easy, user-friendly way of getting these shoes. So like the Cinder, which with two people and two days worth, I still didn't win a pair. However, somebody else in the household did, and their name is not Ashley. So, I'll probably have to um, go through StockX if I ever want to see a pair of those, and I'll probably have to pay double for them, but, you know, that's just what happened. Moving onward, um, the inside of this, unlike the beautiful Desert Sage that I just reviewed, is nice and simplistic. It's all black, completely black inside. And in the back here where the, the heel goes, it is just a nice gray three-stripe Adidas backing. These almost seem like they're a very, very light black color. They're not a completely dark black color, like compared to your do-rag. <laughs> Those are super black. But as you can see, maybe it's just in the sole. You can see the sole super black, but out here it's just like a lighter gray black, if that makes sense. But very, very nice. Um, these do retail, as all of the others do, for $220. You paid a little bit more than that for them on StockX, but now you have two pairs of these? Two pairs. Two pairs of these. And I have a big old goose egg. How many pairs does this make total for you? I don't know. He's lost count. Oh, isn't that special? I'm also going to do a nice side by side for you so that you can see what they look like on the foot, a dinosaur foot that is, as well as what they look like in the natural daylight because I want you to be able to see these in all different sorts of lights because in this room we have 95% artificial lighting so I don't want there to be mis any misunderstandings as far as what these look like um, in person. 